I, I will start off with the, with the challenges. And where the starting point is that we're starting from a point where we acknowledge that at the top leadership at police level, it's clear, the message is clear, Zimbabwe is open for business. And that has also brought some, some of the things that I believe are challenges that um, the mining sector has, has faced. And I want to, to be as honest as possible and so, because we need to find solutions. The way I look at the mining sector, again, being somebody who joined the ministry some seven months or so ago, there are a number of things that I've seen. I think one of the biggest challenges I've faced in trying to help potential investors is the whole issue of mining title management. Um, we continue to, we have used an old system manual. Um, there are necessary disputes, there are necessary delays in, in terms of processing the paperwork that comes to us. Um, and I know it, I've, I've, I've had to sit with people who look quite frustrated. Um, there have been delays uh, in terms of approvals. Um, and, and we need to acknowledge this so that we, we find a way forward together. So that's one of the challenges that we have faced. And a lot of them are, that I would look at are internal. And it's good because they are internal, because then we, we can address them from within. In terms of opportunities, um, I, th I think one of the biggest opportunities that we have is the resource availability. Proven, real, but also in fed. Um, to us, that is one of the biggest opportunities that we see. The second biggest opportunity that we see from where I sit is the new policy paradigm shift. One that acknowledges that we are open for business. One that acknowledges and has addressed the issues of, of ownership structures. Uh, it has brought a lot of attention and, and we get a lot of um, inquiries, and I must say quite a good number of them, very good quality inquiries in terms of uh, uh, potential investments. So from where I sit, I think that's one of the biggest opportunities that we have seen. I've also witnessed over the last uh, four or so months what I may call a lot of investor optimism. Um, again, this comes from discussions that, that I engage in almost on a daily basis. With, uh, with colleagues that come through the ministry. And um, then the, the fourth point I want to make to point out in terms of opportunities is a, re a, respon a responsive leadership. We have gone through a phase where we were not processing, uh, uh, for example, part 20, that is the energy, part 20 special grants, the energy ones. We, we went through a phase where we, we were not processing those. But Liberation Mine is, is a testimony of the new responsiveness in, in, in the leadership. When he said he came in September, it's true, he came, they came in September, certainly for the new phase where they wanted to move from prospecting to production. A, and the level of responsiveness that I saw from the approvals that come was amazing. Processes that would take me two months, we managed to do it in less than a week. And to us, that was a big plus. Uh, then finally, we we, there's the whole issue of the ease of doing business. It's a process that came, yes, championed by the Office of the President and Cabinet, but it's a process that we embraced as ministry. And I've also seen that it has really improved the way we do business. For example, the issue of exports that was talked about. We used to process an export permit was valid for, for three months, but we changed it to 12 months. And it has really decreased traffic in our offices. It has also improved our capacity to, to give proper projections of the, the likely exports for the year. So, in short, we see a lot of opportunities and we, we, we will continue to support the policy guidance that we already have that Zimbabwe is open for business. Thank you. Thank you very much.